Good cameras, mics, action. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Holiday Special. It's the Holiday Special League. Full of the holiday news and stories and well, fun from all that. Do you know what? You've just been on holiday. Let's see. I'm off work for a week. Or just have been. Yeah. Week and a half. Um, my brother's in Lesbos. Answers, no answers on a postcard. <laughs> and Dawes just come back from a week in Spain with the girls. You know what? Meanwhile, North and South Korea are firing at each other over the demilitarised zone. There are people fleeing madness and murder and mayhem and carnage all over the Middle East. Well, funnily enough... Maybe they need a holiday leave. <laughs> Funnily enough, the next cheapest place to Thanks Egypt... Thanks for walking all over that, by the way. <laughs> the next cheapest place to Egypt was North Korea, oh. and then Syria. Ah. We went to Egypt instead. And did you come back together? We did. We had a, a, a very good time. Apart from, and I'm going to write a letter to the President, the Russians. Oh. They're the new Germans, Tim. Really? They are. Bloody hell. Going around stealing our... Detchers and going around in the speedos. Well, invading... Welcome to 1978, <laughs> Channel 4. <laughs> invading oh, Poland. Oh no, that was a German, no, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, See, yeah. I'm looking all over your things now. And Channel 4, <laughs> before we get letters, Channel 4 didn't start until 1983, I realise that. It was 82. What was, be... what was the first programme on Channel 4, Lee? Do you remember? Also, as well, who's going to be bothered to write into us, Tim? Well, funnily enough, Lee, this is amazing. <laughs> People ask me. The other day, if we do any rehearsals, we're at a Anyway, we've had lots of letters, Lee. Fantastic. Thank you. See, now Lee's learnt a new trick in the art of improv, which is don't block. If I say this is an apple, it's an apple. No, no, it's not. It's an empty hand, you, you know. So. It's an empty hand, Tim. We've had lots of letters. First of all, a letter from a Mrs. Uh, let's just say Smith, shall we? Dear Tim, you're a beautiful human being. I love you very much. Love what you do on the show. Keep up the good work. No mention of me in that one. This one mentions you, funnily oh, enough. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Dear Tim, Lee's a terrible swine. Get him off and find somebody who can do the job. Uh, tell him to get a, a, a bit of background. Or, and backbone. Backbone. <laughs> Does it, is it signed by Tim? It's that? signed by Lee's mum. <laughs> Third letter. Don't listen to him, mummy. <laughs> Still a very attractive woman, you're looking <laughs> Speaking of which, dear Timmy, I love you very much. You're a beautiful man, Lee's mum. Anyway, there you go. End of the letter segment. Maybe we should do some rehearsal. No. I spoil the magic. Uh, anyway, as Lee mentioned, Egypt and various refugee crises earlier. Yes. There was a very interesting programme on Radio 4 recently about the Algerian situation. A lot of young Algerians are des desperate to get out, apart from anything else, because it's quite boring, apparently. But the government's trying to keep, get them to stay in the country by offering interest-free business loans. By the way, I'm going to show you just... No, I'm going to show the camera not looking at me, will it? Do you think I look at me notes when you're talking? <laughs> I've switched off, to be honest with you. Am I, am I speaking? When I'm speaking, I'm listening. When you're speaking... You're not listening. Anyway, <laughs> so this, the government's offering interest-free business loans. Not just interest-free, but the people have worked out that they don't even bother to chase you for the debt, so it's like free cash. But Brilliant. for business use only. So what are these young Algerians doing? Setting up car hire firms, buying themselves a couple of top-end mercs... <laughs> And then closing the business down and owning the, gov owning the government nothing. So they're poor, but they're driving around in top of the range merch. Fantastic. It was a great business idea. It could take off in the UK. That's too. enterprise for Yes. You. But I've got some local news, Lee. You'll be glad to learn. Okay. I th I, when you said enterprise, I thought you'd link into the, the car hire business. <laughs> okay, anyway, go on. Uh, no, but thank you for... It's all uh, right. Are you publicising? Is this a paid slot? Because I've not, I'm not received a, any cash for this. <laughs> back after that commercial break which we was for me as you'll remember very Be good Betsy's cafe on Berry Road is that Berry Road that comes up from the towards Berry Bolton Road Betsy's cafe hang on do I get a free breakfast for this as well you don't know damn and I don't I'll tell you why because <laughs> I refuse all freebies like that I just wanted to do this these people a favour are you a fan of sausages Lee I am Tim well everybody knows them as being particularly mysterious uh, bags of all sorts generic animal matter who yes. knows what's in them the sausages at Betsy's Cafe, Berry Road, Bolton Road, are the best I've ever had. And the breakfast is the best breakfast this side of the Pecos. Fantastic. Get That's down there. Please. Betsy's Cafe. That it? No freebies accepted. Just from the good of well, my I'll, I'll be calling in demanding. <laughs> demanding some hot sausage. To... Let's, let's <laughs> not forget what for the first time. Let's... Um, now then, uh, Bolton News seems to be full of the same news story. See if you can guess what the theme is. First of all, Page six. Drink driver fine. 
I thought, is he? <laughs> oh. Page 16, morning after driving caution. Page 13, two year ban for drink driver. Page 20, drink drive ban. Page 47, ban for drink driver. I thought, everybody's drunk in Bolton. Unless it's the same one. But Unless it's the same story. The same repeated. one. <laughs> what is he, Spanish? <laughs> Juan more for the road. <laughs> I love um, he did that. But no, but going back to the first one, drink driver, fine. Well, mate, your mind up, he's either fine or he's out of order. Which is it to be? He's probably too drunk to walk, but it's safe he drives anyway, Tim. Now, you've come here, Lee, armed with very few notes, but I see they are there. They so, are. Why don't you coast through them <laughs> while I pretend to be listening? <laughs> don't pretend. Just just shuffle your notes around and, and tap them on the uh, thing. Uh, Can't hear you. There was a, uh, a great show last night, so thank you very much to Dan Barnes for putting that together. And Big Lou very Big good. Lou came down. Oh, did Lou do? Yeah, no, he didn't. He just came down to watch. That's what people who like comedy do sometimes. Do. You yet. should give it a bash. No. <laughs> Never. Not for me. Not for you. Um, so, yes, yes thanks very much, Dan. And we raised a lot of money for Bolton Hospice, so much appreciated. Well um, the last Friday in September, come on down to Henningham's and we'll have some more for you. Is that the last Friday most months? Every month, yes. Every <laughs> Anyway, modern Facebook lawyer. Well, yeah. As you know, Lee's on the Facebook. I am. I'm not. But I like to I like to go in and have a look around and then come out. Radio Fallout, if you want to catch up with us, everybody. Radio Fallout, all one word, space, talk pods, all That's one us. word. Now then, modern Facebook, me, 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 selfie, selfie, selfies. I, I discovered something the other day, rather disturbing about me, Lee. I'm, I'd be delighted if a camera followed me all day long and I looked at the camera all day and then I spent all night watching it back on a screen. <laughs> me, me, me all day. <laughs> For those twitching face movers. They do have selfie sticks. What you should do is maybe get a harness for your selfie stick and just have it. Just have it hold all day. They're watching on, back at night. They call mirrors, aren't they? I just have a mirror in front of me. <laughs> or a frontal lobotomy, or whatever it is. Uh, quiche, Lee. Beautiful. It's a lie. It's just basically an unfinished pie. They couldn't be bothered finishing the job. I think quiche is actually French for half arsed <laughs> Oh, all I can do is laugh with that, Tim. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm putting some effort in here. See these? Notes. See these? Can't read them. The M60, for those of you watching outside of the Granada region, the M60 is a circular motorway. <laughs> Thanks for doing that, Tim. In case people didn't know what circular meant. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roadworks, all oh, aren't they? Uh, this new tactic is, what they do is have great big photographs of kids in the dad's high-vis helmet and jacket going, my dad works here, as if we're supposed to feel some kind of human connection and go, oh, I won't plough into them now because yes. of that. Well, there's no sign of anybody working. I've not seen anybody in there. Your dad's not working there. He's a lying, skiving get. Your dad's with his other secret family. There's nobody working there, let me tell you. They've also got a sign there that says, my mummy works here. Really? I've never seen a bloke, though. I've certainly <laughs> never, ever seen a woman uh, at the well, roadways. What would you be doing on a roadways? It's, it's a man's job. It's a, it exists, Tim. The sign is there. I, I had a <laughs> mate of mine. Should you be done making dinner? Mate of mine. Do you remember Chris Elk? Yeah, well, uh, uh, I do, Chris, yeah. Uh, he used to say, his chat-up line to women was basically, so, which florist do you work in, then? <laughs> Or cake shop. It was interchangeable. <laughs> Which cake shop do you work in? Then? Was he um, always putting a cigarette out yeah, at the time? Yeah. yeah, he's died of cancer since. A single Chris, lonely death. <laughs> Chris, if you're watching, get in touch. Yes. Uh, Lee, leave the light on Modern World. What else have we got, Lee? News. I've got some news. Some football oh, news, Timmy. Uh, Manchester United, in an effort to keep up with a big spending near the city, have put in a £180 million bid for God. Okay. They're hoping his presence can influence the pitch, the crowd, and the changing rooms all at the same time. Mm. Louis van Gaal, I mean, he is a United fan, Timmy, so he might not appreciate this. All right. However, uh, he said, after what he did with the Red Sea, I'm sure he can open up any defence. Oh! <laughs> Excellent. You sicken and disgust me. Uh, Forward to no word from heaven yet, Timmy. Uh, box sets, Lee. Are you a fan? I am. Really? Yes, a boxing, yes. What What are you watching at the moment <laughs> in the old box set business? I am watching Damages with Glenn Close. Really? Yes. How did you get her around your house? She can't. She, anyway, this is where I live, on Glen Close. I was, I was watching. I was watching, I don't know, let's say, um, oh, what's the best thing? Oh, Game of Thrones, right. Ah, let's just say yes. For the sake of argument. Yes. And because I've had a week off work, you know, but you think, right, you're in your dressing gown and your flip flops watching <laughs> episode 17 of Game of Thrones, and, and the other half comes in and says, darling, dinner's ready. And you go, put it on pause and go, ah, I'm in the middle of an episode. <laughs> She looks you up and down and says, you're telling me? <laughs>
yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah. you'll, you'll be familiar, and much, many of you will, much of you, many <laughs> of you will be familiar with contextual advertising, which is, you read a story on, say, a boat sinking, and then you get an ad for life jackets or, you know, point CAs or something. But well, this is this is actually true. This is true. So, uh, particularly on the Daily Mail website, I'm ashamed, but I've got to look at it, I've got to look at it for material. Uh, hang on, Tim. Are you saying you're getting pop-ups with divorce lawyers? Is this is this where this is going? Do you see my... Do you, <laughs> Do you break into our house and read my notes? God! All right, but I'm going to carry on regardless. So, there was a story on a, a solar power project, and the, the advert at the side of it was for energy solutions. That's fine. Story on a massive security fence in Israel, or, or Mexico, same thing. Uh, it's right they, Mexico. They're trying to keep somebody out, that's the main thing. Advert for CCTV equipment. So, you know, there's, there's a really... Story on ex-porn star Kayla Cupcakes... Flashing her boobs at a judge, <laughs> advert for divorce lawyer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I always cut back to me, as if I've just said something hilarious. <laughs> Solely, as you may or may not be aware, uh, I accompany Dawn to church on a Sunday quite often. She's C of E, I'm Catholic. But nonetheless, the C of E service is excellent, it's great. But what I have noticed is when they go up for communion, they take the communion and the wine. Now, she said, why don't you not ever do that? You know, and because it's my mum's church, they don't do the wine. They just, yeah. and I said, because frankly, darling, for Catholics, this is the one hour a week we're not drinking. <laughs> and also, your greedy priest tends to drink it all on his own. I don't even <laughs> notice that. It's a detox Sunday, yes. Yeah. Can I just give a quick shout out to uh, all of our comedy friends who went to Edinburgh? Well done, everybody. Namaste. Uh, and a special thank you, not thank you, a special well done to Masai Graham for the second year running. Oh. Uh, managed to get in the top ten Getaway. jokes. He's awesome, though. What he, was his joke? His remember? joke was, what is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's very heavy and the other's a little lighter. <laughs> Brilliant, it's fantastic. brilliant. God but him. not my favourite joke, which he did with the bleach works for us. I'm hoping to get him back soon. So he was. Uh, he said, "The girlfriends." Um, uh, <laughs> Bear with us, people. <laughs> if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in today's podcast, the girlfriend's got a baby Jew. Oh, stolen from outside a synagogue. Hey, <laughs> lovely, yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so film reviews. Ah. It's time for the film reviews, everyone. Uh, Lee. I was uh, look, <laughs> googling a film called The Conspiracy. It's a real film. It's great. We watched it today, but eventually, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, right, I must make a note. So I made a mental note. Went back the next day, searched for it. Nowhere to be ah. seen. Which is <laughs> interesting. You don't see many stories about the Bermuda Triangle anymore, do you, Lee? What's happening there, Tim? Well, I don't know. They've disappeared. I think I've done that before, but I repeat myself. We've established that. Yes. Uh, movie recommendation. Sideways. Great film. Uh, Paul Giamatti and I think Willem Dafoe or one of those types. Craggy face. Have you ever seen it? Two guys go on a wine tasting tour, tour of California. Yes, I have Great seen film. it. Very... I found it refreshing with the zingy aftertaste. <laughs> Forget the no name, your local hostry, yeah. hostelry, fine cascades, yes. beautiful people. Get down to the Crofters and then the Connie Club as well, Tim. Connie Club, great. Yes. Game of pool, pint. I think you can get a pint of Wainwright for two pound twelve. Yes, or oh, one pound fifty in the Crofters before Thank five o'clock. I'm <laughs> salivating now. <laughs> Let's get to the pub, Tim. Right. Okay. And it's good night from him. Bye bye. Ta ta.